Hey, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today, I wanted to go over a few tips and tricks on how to use TradeLab, uh, some of the UI features that some people may not know, um, and just some things that are going to make it easier for you to use TradeLab. So a couple things we'll cover first off. Um, as soon as you log in uh, and you start a new account, you'll see that we have a Welcome to TradeLab section here, um, and we see a progress indicator. This is linked to the Getting Started section. So this Getting Started button right here actually has uh, some missions for you to complete. So you can go through each of these and this will give you a little tour around some of the features of Trade Lab. Um, if you don't want to do this, you can always hit no thanks, skip these, and this will go away. Uh, you can also hit hide this if you don't want to see this uh, bar section here. But while this is here, we can click on uh, guides and tutorials and we can see all of the videos uh, that Trade Lab has that you can uh, watch and learn how to use Trade Lab. Okay, so those are the videos there. We can also go to the Education Center by clicking this button. And we can also see some more videos here, uh, some crypto education courses, some links to those, some more links to videos on the right side. And then if you click this button, once again, you get all of the videos for Trade Lab. So if we go back to the dashboard, uh, let's say I'm done with this. I don't want to do getting get started anymore. So I'll click on Get Started. I'll hit No Thanks, Skip These. And the Get Started button will go away. And then I'll click hide this. And now we're back to just a regular dashboard. So another thing we have here is the did you know box. This uh, provides a whole bunch of little tips on different things that you can do in Trade Lab. We have an updates tab uh, that gives you updates. If I make any big updates, I'll put in a, uh, a message here. Uh, and then also news. So you can um, take a look at the news from Trading View and you can select different symbols. So a lot of the symbols they don't have news for. Uh, it's only the main symbols like Ethereum and, and Bitcoin. You can search for symbols there and uh, it'll allow you to see the news. If you switch this over to news, you can um, come back to it at any time and it'll still be on news. So you can switch this once and if you don't want to see the did you know or any of that anymore, you can just do the news. Okay. Um, we also have up in the top right, we have notifications. So if you have any errors, if, you're, uh, if you have any questions as to what was going on while you were gone, or anything like that, you can look at notifications and it'll show you all the trades that were going on um, as well as any errors or anything that you need to know. Okay, uh, up in the top right as well, we have the active trades window. The active trades um, shows you all the open positions and these are the open positions directly from your exchange. So if you do open a uh, trade manually on your exchange, it'll show up here, um, even if Trade Lab isn't monitoring uh, or, or controlling it, um, we will still monitor the position. So you can see the active trades up here. You can also see your wallet. So this shows you your balance on all your different uh, exchanges. You can see I have multiple exchanges loaded here and I can see my balance on all these. Okay, so that was the dashboard. Let's head on over to my strategies and we can see a list of all the strategies that I have. If my list starts getting too long, there's a couple things that I can do. The first thing is on almost any page, if we have a card view, we also have a list view. So if we click on a list, we can just see a list of all of the strategies. This can be a lot easier to read if you have a lot of them um, and it can allow you to manage them a lot quicker. If you want to group strategies and uh, sort of organize them better, you can also make folders. So let's say that I want to put my David Tech combo and my smart money from David Tech into a folder together. I could click on the three dots. I would click move to folder and I can type in David Tech. I'll hit save and that will move this into a folder called David Tech. And now I can see that this is a folder and I have my combined profit and how many trades and how many strategies. I can move this one over as well, move to folder. And now instead of creating a new folder, you can see it says selecting an existing folder, David Tech. So if I click on this, it'll move this into the David Tech folder. And now it's in there. All right, and so now we just hit uh, open folder and we can see my two strategies inside this folder. I can also see where I am so I'm in the David Tech folder, and if I want to go back to home, I can click home, and that'll bring me back to my main, to my strategies, okay? So that's how folders work. Uh, you know that you can click on the three dots and you can uh, view trade history, you can clone, you can also reset the, uh, the statistics. So if, you're com uh, if your profit gets messed up, you can reset the statistics. Uh, you can turn um, strategies on and off. You can also, come up to the top right and there's three dots up here. And so you can do bulk um, actions up here. So if you wanna reset all the trades, if you wanna reset all the statistics, um, or if you wanna turn on and off all the strategies, you can do that. We also have a remove all strategies button.
All right. So that's how we look at strategies. Um, if we look at the trades, once again, we can see all of our open positions that matches this active trades right here. And we can see our trade history if we click on this tab. So the trade history is a lot like alert history and the fact that we can see all of the trades that have happened. And if we click on here, we can view the information about the trade and we can also view the events that happened. So here it'll show me how uh, it sent a request for this trade at what time. Um, I can view the information for it and I can also see the uh, alert information. So any alert that fired for this trade or during this trade, I can see. So I can look at every single alert that fired. I can see every rule that fired within that alert and I can open up that rule and look at its conditions and see why it passed or failed. Uh, we do have a troubleshooting video that goes more in depth on how to look at this information, how to read it, what it means, uh, and how to use it to uh, fix problems. Okay, so there's a troubleshooting video for that. One other thing I want to point out is if we go to alert history and we find an alert, if we ever want to retest an alert, if something went wrong with this alert and we want, if we think we found the problem, right, I come in here and I find a condition, oh, that's not right, and I went in back and I fixed my rule. Right, and so now I want to run it again to see if it works. Instead of waiting for Trading View to send uh, that alert, you can come into this alert again, and you can hit Resend Alert, and it will resend that alert and update this to show you if it passed or failed. Okay. Um, looking back at my strategies, we can see that this particular strategy is open. It has a trade open, and it's monitoring that trade, running its exit rules uh, to see if it needs to exit. Okay. Um, this one is looking for entry. It doesn't have a trade yet. It's looking, it's running its entry rules uh, to see if it can find a trade. If we want to see how these uh, strategies have been doing, we can click right here and it will load a chart that shows us uh, our profit and uh, how our profit has changed over time. If you look at the one down here, this has actually been turned off. It says inactive. So um, we can turn this on by going to the three dots and hitting active inactive, and that'll turn it on. All right, um, every strategy has its own monitor page. So you can click monitor and you can see all the information about the strategy and any trades that it's made. Down here, you can see some trades that this one has made. If we click on this, it'll bring us to that uh, trade detail page that I was talking about earlier. Okay, and some of these are just test trades, so there's not, not a whole lot of data. Um, and that covers some of the tips and tricks that I wanted to show just some extra features that some people may not realize. If you do have any other questions, you can always join us on Discord. Uh, to get there, you can go to the bottom right, the help button. You can type in Discord right here, and there's a link to join the Discord right in here. How can I join the Discord? Okay. If you don't want to join the Discord, and you still want to ask me questions, you can send me a support ticket. This will send me an email, and I'll send you an email back. Okay. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe for more updates, and have a good day.